this is the first time that we've actually had a fairly consistent routine i think chloe actually just woke up it's almost eight o'clock she'll wake up anywhere between seven and eight in the morning which is really nice i try to get up by seven o'clock so if she does wake up around eight i get a little bit of me time i get to get myself dressed make the bed we're gonna head to the gym this morning i'm trying to on the days that i'm working out just get my workout out of the way otherwise it ends up being so late and then after chloe's first nap like our day is just shot i think i'm gonna grab my ice roller actually oh my god it feels so so good. Topper gets really excited when I say this. Let's go get her. He knows. <laughs> Is that Chloe? Good morning, girl. you guys like how I make my coffee and the secret this Ghirardelli white chocolate if you guys saw the powder when I first started making it I used to do one scoop but now I've been doing half since I've been adding this Chobani creamer I use these Altissimo Nespresso pods I have the Virtuo machine so the pods are a little bit different than some of the other machines but I do two of these because it's one shot each I know that there's double espresso pods but these are just my absolute favorite they're so good then I just add tons and tons of ice I love lots of ice in my coffee usually I would add regular half and half but lately i've been loving the chobani pumpkin spice oat creamer almost 10 now and she's still trying to put herself to sleep she's been struggling lately because she's teething so that's really fun this stuff always happens while andrew's gone but she's been doing okay she just has a hard time falling asleep while she's napping i'm gonna get ready for the day i'm gonna wear some leggings these are the crazy yoga ones the butter looks leggings i'm just gonna wear this ribbed cropped long sleeve this is super soft i got it from abercrombie recently and it's nice and lightweight too so it's good for layering. I just actually bought this vest from Amazon. Kind of like the perfect length. It's not like super cropped, but it just kind of hits really well at your waist. It's funny because I was literally just going to talk about how we've been sort of on a bit of a routine finally. Now that she's six months, for the most part we're on a routine, but sometimes she still has her moments because she is a baby. But generally she is such a good little sleeper. Like I'll feed her, lay her down for her nap and she'll just put herself to sleep. I feel really blessed to have a baby that is so good at that. For my concealer, I just use this e.l.f. Camel Concealer. Everything that I use is from the drugstore. There's a lot of really good products out there that are very similar to the high-end brands. For my foundation, I've been using this for over a year now. My skin does really well with it. I have kind of like combination skin. This is the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I use this in the shade Light Pale, but I honestly need to get a lighter color because we are not in summer anymore. I didn't really even get much of a tan this year because newborn mom life, which is totally okay but i just need to get a lighter shade in this because it's a little bit dark for me right now but i'll have to do for today i want to share with you guys some of the teething products that we're using the first one i like to use like if i'm going to give chloe a medicine i want to get her something that is all natural i had heard about this one on tiktok and a lot of people swore by it and i think it's working these are the dr talbot's chamomile soothing tablets definitely recommend these they're only like five dollars you can get them at like walmart I ordered them off of Amazon. Next, I use this Revolution Bronzer in the shade Cool. The other teething product that we use and love is this Little Penguin. We've had this for her since she was like two or three months and she loves it, especially for when they're really, really little. It has a nice little handle on it for them when they can't easily grab things at that age. Another favorite teether is this one. You can actually pull it out and it has two sides to it and this nice easy little holder. This part can go in the fridge. It comes with actually two of these. Those are the three products that I've really loved so far for her for teething and then for my brows i use this elf brow lift this stuff is really nice to just like brush up your brows a little bit and hold them in place and then i just sweep through this nyx 
tinted brow mascara i have used this stuff for years and it's just so easy to use and it just kind of like lightly adds a little bit of color in there which is really nice i use this milani blush this is so pretty it's the baked powder blush in the color dolce pink it has kind of like a little bit of a highlight in it it's so pretty i love this color before i had chloe everybody would tell me that it's just so important to like make time for yourself and get ready for the day and it truly is it makes the world of a difference on the days that I do get myself ready. I definitely still have my days where I'm just like bummy at home. That was actually yesterday. It's nice to let your skin breathe and not put on any makeup, especially on days where I'm trying to get like work done or we're gonna run an errand. I like to get myself ready really quick because it definitely makes myself feel better. I'm more productive that way. I'm using this e.l.f. Halo Glow highlight and this stuff is also so pretty. They carry this in blushes, I think too, and maybe even a bronzer. Next for my lashes i'm going to use the l'oreal telescopic mascara this stuff is my ride or die i love this stuff i also love maybelline sky high mascara is another good one but my lashes are like non-existent when you have super fine straight hair your lashes are also the same and even though i just curled them like they just don't curl well we're just trying our best here last step of the makeup routine is putting on my laneige lip mask you can actually find it all the time at tj maxx for way cheaper than at sephora my bathroom has horrible lighting but about to do my hair here really quick i use this odell dry shampoo i like using a powder because i just heard a lot about the aerosol can dry shampoo and there were a lot of toxic ingredients which i'm sure there's other products that i should be switching and trying to be more careful about with ingredients but i'm just trying my best with like one product at a time to switch to more natural stuff but this stuff is great it makes my hair feel like it has less residue on it i hate the feeling of dry shampoo sometimes i also have to be really careful with what products i use in my hair because i have psoriasis on my scalp and it is not fun i never talk about like my scalp issues but it's something that i've had for years i'm actually going to the dermatologist in a couple weeks to get it like checked out it's been an ongoing issue for a few years and it's very uncomfortable very itchy sometimes it burns and i just don't want to have to live with it but i know that there's not really a cure but i'm just hoping that there's something i can use to like help flare a little bit. I actually really love using a straightener for curling my hair. I just like doing this light kind of wave on it. Having short hair has really changed the game because my hair does not hold a curl unless it's short. If you also have fine straight hair, you understand the struggle of just not being able to style it because it just goes super, super flat. So I'm going to finish curling my hair here, getting this done. Her nap probably only lasted like 30 minutes maybe. So we're just going to get her dressed and we're going to go to Target. I'm just putting on these earrings from Amazon. They're so cute. I'm actually wearing my wedding ring today. I haven't worn it in such a long time, probably since I was like 20 weeks pregnant because it did not fit. I was so swollen and then naturally you just kind of gain weight while you're pregnant. I'm happy to have it back. Um, you're being so cute. I'm also gonna wear these clog dupes that I got from Amazon. They look just like the Birkenstock ones, but way, way cheaper. They're like 40 bucks. They're super comfortable. So if you're in between sizes, I would go up a size. They run a tiny bit small. Chloe's outfit is from Old Navy. This comes as a whole set. Cutest little flare pants, and it's all ribbed, and the super soft material. Are you blowing bubbles? So we are gonna head out and do our little Target run. from Target. So I'm trying to like build up a lot of Chloe's winter clothes. She has mostly like short sleeves and stuff and I've been working on getting her more leggings and long sleeves. Finally cooling off here in Virginia Beach and we're also going to go on a trip next week to the mountains in kind of like the northern Virginia area. So I got her this two pack of onesies. These are really soft. I can already tell and I'm sure they're even softer after you wash them. This is a little striped ribbed print. And then this design, I also got to go with it 
this two pack of leggings. I like that they both go with either onesie. We love quick easy matching outfits. I also got her this adorable quarter zip Sherpa. Nice and cozy. I honestly want one of these but that'll be great for when it gets cooler at night and we needed to get her a little hat. I got her this adorable beanie. I also grabbed this passy case. I like this one because it has a zipper on it. It's see-through so we can see if there's one in there or not. Also has this really handy strap. It'll be nice to like strap it to the stroller or the diaper bag or whatever and hopefully we will no longer forget bringing her passies with us. Something for myself, I got this ribbed long sleeve shirt. It's actually very similar to the shirt that I'm wearing today and it was only $15. I'm trying to build up some basics so that I can do kind of like in a way a capsule wardrobe, be able to just layer stuff and have fun with it. I'm so excited for fall and winter style this year because last year I was pregnant so I feel like I missed out on all of that stuff. That is everything I got at Target. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Comment down below what you want to see me do next. I am very open to video ideas and want to know what you guys want to see but I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next one.